There's a situation arising and has arisen where couples who have worked a lifetime are, where, and where one was the primary earner and the other stayed at home to rear families and maybe care for loved ones and so on, and are in receipt of the contributory pension and a dependent adult allowance or a, a, an IQA, as they call it in the jargon. Now, we take one couple, they save money, they maybe get a lump sum at the end of employment, they might have got a legacy, and they put it in the primary earner's bank account. The other couple put it in joint bank accounts. Now, in that situation, if the savings of a lifetime go over 150,000, the dependent adult allowance is decreased. If they put it in the single bank account, which nobody would recommend, they get the whole lot. Okay. Um, Thank you, Deputy, uh, for raising this. Recipients of the contributory state pension can claim an increase in their pension in respect of a qualified adult subject to a means assessment. A qualified adult is the spouse, civil partner or cohabitant of the pensioner who has been wholly or, ma or mainly maintained by that pensioner. The means assessment reflects the fact that there is an expectation that people with reasonable amounts of income or capital are in a position to use these resources to support themselves so that social welfare expenditure can be directed towards those most at need. Entitlement to the contributory state pension is based on a person's social insurance record and the personal rate of payment is not subject to a means test. Only the spouse or partner of the claimant is means tested. An increase is payable at the maximum rate of payment where the means of the spouse or partner are €100 Euros a week or less, while reduced rates are payable where the means are over €100 Euros and less than €310 Euro per week. No increase is payable where the means of the spouse or partner are in excess of €310 Euros per week. The means assessed include income from employment or self-employment non-social welfare pensions and the capital value of savings, investments and property other than the family home. It should be noted that the value of the family home, regardless of who is the legal owner, is never taken into account in this assessment. Where savings, property or other assets are, joint, are held jointly, the spouse or partner's means is taken to be half of the total amount. It is a matter for each couple to decide how their finances are arranged and the department has no role in this. The current means testing arrangements are based on the actual means of the spouse or partner at any given time. Um, uh, I, I'm sorry, we can't. We'll, Can I just make we'll, one, we'll, 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 we'll just, we'll just to time. say, Minister, we, 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 just, just I, I, one no, minute in judgment. In, in Minister, seconds. Minister society, society always recommends that where there was one earning and the other, they would share joint accounts and that the primary earner wouldn't control all the finances. And then we say, that's fine, you followed our, our, our advice, and now we, take, we cut you I'm sorry, for doing the what talk, we advised you to do. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you very the talk much. is overtaken us. And we now